What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, do me a real quick favor. See that red subscribe button down below? Go ahead and push that and show your support for the channel. For those of you stopping by that have been here before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So, it's finally here. Finally ready to give my thoughts on the new formulation of Dior Homme. It's the fragrance review for Dior Homme 2020. Stay tuned. Dior Homme 2020. So I wanted to give it more than one wear to make sure I can give you my accurate thoughts on it. So first and foremost, I don't have a full size bottle. I actually have a 10 milliliter dabber travel size and a sample that was sent over to me by Michael Dinsmore over at Making Sense. Put his logo right there. Shout out to you, Mike. He did actually send this to me not long ago. That's where my two wearings came from. You can see the dent that's been put in there. It was actually my scent of the day today. And I do have this 10 ml dabber. Looks exactly like the full size bottle. But if you look closely, there's nothing coming out the bottom because it's a dabber. So I'll just, if and when I want to wear this, I'll just refill this. So release year, obviously, it's 2020. It's classified as a woody fragrance. So on the presentation, I mean, this bottle looks exactly like the full size one, so I can go off of this. So not a whole lot has changed drastically. I do have my big five ounce, so it's kind of hard with the size. I can do this. Now they look about the same size. <laughs> so you, st you had your CD on top, whereas you still have your CD on top now. It's just instead of saying Dior Own printed on the base, now it's inside part of the cap. It's actually not printed on it. It's printed on the block on the inside. Still have the stem. So the bottle hasn't really changed as much as just how the cap look has changed. So for the presentation, I'm going to stick with my rating of an eight, eight out of 10, just like I did on my last review. Um, I do love these presentations. Actually, it's an 8.5 out of 10. My apologies. Um, I do love how the Dior own bottles look. And I, I got to admit, that is pretty cool how they did that on the new ones and the Intense. The new Intense does the same thing on the cap. Now, just like the last review, I'm actually not going to rattle off all the notes. I'll actually put those right here so you can read those if you want to. So what do I get in the opening? So right off the bat, it is a blast of Elemy. I do get a lot of Elemy and a whole bunch of ISO E Super. And it gives you that Blue de Chanel Parfum feel because Blue de Chanel Parfum has a lot of ISO E Super. And that's an ISO E Super woody fragrance as well and like i said in the opening the opening is very nice on this one i have to admit as as much as i've kind of i guess you could say knocked it a little bit in the few times i've mentioned it in videos the opening is very nice on it because like i said it's going to give you that blue de chanel parfum feel I saw somebody comment recently that it's a combination of blue de chanel parfum and eau de toilette it has nothing to do with eau de toilette pimping who i forgot who it was said that it's it's not full of citrus <laughs> Blue de Chanel de Toilette's full of citrus. But in that transition, just still tons of that fizzy, fizzy, buttery. I get a buttery feel from ISO E Super. Um, it's very present in this one. And then the cedar and the cashmere wood really come into play. So that opening, I enjoy. But this transition going into this dry down is where it starts to lose me, to be completely honest with you. Um, you do get a little bit of vetiver in that transition. And then once you hit the dry down, it's wood, iso -E super with just a hint of musk is what I smell. And I smell a lot more cashmere wood than I do cedar because I prefer cedar. Um, this is the heaviest cashmere wood fragrance I've ever smelled. And I do have a spray from a little while ago right here for the dry down because the dry down is what I hate about this fragrance. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I don't think it stinks. I don't. I'm not a huge woody fragrance guy. I have to have something else with my woods. And this is a woody aroma chemical with other woody fragrance notes. It's a, just a woody fragrance, hence the classification. It's too woody for me. It really is. I don't hate it. 
I don't think it stinks by any means. I know the whole thing everybody hates to hear is it's not for me. And it's the truth. It's not for me. There's some people, I mean, this thing's selling. For all the knock that everybody's given, given it because it doesn't have iris anymore, this thing's selling. People are liking it. People are buying it. TLTG doesn't like it. So the scent's actually going to suffer on this one. On the scent, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Not my thing, by any means. I don't have to scrub it off. I mean, I wore it all day. I've worn it twice. Um, it's still, the dry down's faded away, but it was on my chest. I mean, I haven't showered since I wore it. Um, now, in the longevity category, that kind of picks the rating back up because the presentation's beautiful. Scent's kind of lacking, in my opinion. But I do get every bit of eight hours until it becomes a skin scent. It kept going and going and going, I have to admit. Um, so, like I said, eight out of 10 for eight hours of longevity. Hard to argue with that. You get eight hours of, out of a fragrance, that's great, really and truly. That's fantastic longevity. Now, in the projection category, it's not real heavy. That first 30 minutes, you're really smelling yourself. It's getting out there a little bit. Both times I wore it, I didn't have anybody comment on it or compliment me or, or ask anything about what's that smell. Um, so I don't know how well people were getting me. I can just go based off of how I'm smelling myself, how it's radiating off my chest. Um, and I find in that first 30 minutes, it was radiating kind of heavy. And then it started getting relatively close to the skin, maybe a mild scent trail at best. Projection on this one is going to be a 6 out of 10. Overall, Dior Homme 2020, let me get it to where it'll focus. <laughs> Dior Homme 2020, in my opinion, is a 7 out of 10 fragrance. Now, that 7 out of 10 overall rating can be deceptive. Here's why. Because I gave the scent the lowest rating I've ever given a scent. A five out of 10. Projection, and eh, not the end of the world. Six out of 10. I got a lot of freshies that are six out of 10s in projection, but the scent quality, it's lacking. The longevity and the, and the presentation saved its rating. If I was to take presentation out of this, let me do the math real quick, because I have my rating, my books right there with my notes. Let's see, that'd be 13 plus six is 19 divided by three, it'd be a six out of 10. So it'd lose a point if you pull that presentation out and it's you know right there at an average fragrance and that's what i would say about dior Rome 2020 it's an average fragrance i am very very happy that i did not go out and just jump on a full-size bottle now i'm not gonna lie i did pay 20 dollars for this for this is 10 milliliters so basically a 10 ml decant that's an official 10 ml decant from from christian dior but the downside to it is it's a dabber but the one cool thing about it is it looks really cool. <laughs> I'll, I actually keep it right here sitting on top of my 50 ml of 2008 Dior Homme Sport. So I didn't, I wanted to go into this one not having people thinking, oh, well, he's just knocking it because it doesn't have Iris anymore and he loves the Dior Homme line and he loves Iris. Not the case. I'm trying to rate it as a standalone fragrance. With that said, if you want a non-iris Dior Homme fragrance, in my opinion, get Dior Homme Sport 2017 or the newest one now that they changed the font, but it's the same juice. Get Dior Homme Sport. You get, you're still getting a woody fragrance. It's still got cedar, but instead of cashmere and ISO E Super, you got blood orange and sandalwood. This is nicer. This gets just as good a longevity and actually projects a little bit heavier. Um, it's a very clean smell. In my opinion, this is TLTG Review's opinion. Hear me out. If you want a non-iris Dior Homme, sample it. Don't get me wrong. Some people are going to love that. I don't. I like this a lot more. My opinion is go with Dior Homme Sport. You can't go wrong with it. It's a great fragrance. And then what's still readily available... Well, I'm messing everything up right here. Jesus Christ. So what's still readily available, Dior Homme Original. I mean, this is before they've rebranded it, Dior Homme Original. This is a five ounce bottle that I got two months ago, a month and a half, whatever. Um, if you still like the Iris, it's still available. Available. The new Dior Homme Intense, it's still Iris. They haven't changed that formula. So the Iris isn't going away. But until next time, guys, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Do appreciate all the feedback. Do you agree with me? Is it not your favorite? Do you really like it? Like I said, it's nothing wrong with it. It's 100% not something I'm going to enjoy wearing. I'll try wearing it a few more times, but I really don't like it. You know, like I said, 
the overall rating on the, with my scoring system can be deceptive sometimes because I factor in the presentation, the scent, how the scent quality and the smell is to me, the longevity, and the projection to make my overall rating. Uh, if we went just based off of scent, smack dab in the middle, it'd be a five out of 10 because the scent was a five out of 10 in my opinion. Um, not the worst thing I've ever smelled, but definitely not something that I'll be buying a bottle of just to have. Uh, the collector in me would like to get a full size bottle because it looks cool and I love all the Dior on bottles, but I'm out on it. I, I just, I don't care for it. I'll keep trying. You know, I'll maybe give it two more tries and if my opinion doesn't change of it by the fourth or fifth wearing, I'm out on it. <laughs> so until next time, guys, I will say, if you get DR on 2020 and you give it a spray now, I tried to warn you just in case you have similar taste to me. But there's a chance you may thank me later because I warned you. It's kind of mediocre. Have a good one, guys.